Hey, how you doing? John here. In this video, I'm going to be drawing a cat. And uh, just for again, I have my watercolor paper. And um, I'm going to be masking off some area. So I have a roll of film, which I will show you later. Uh, an X-Acto knife, and I'll show you later for that as well, for uh, masking off areas. And I have some masking fluid as well and some masking fluid brushes. And most importantly, I'm gonna be using a Rotwing ink pens. I have a 0 0.5, 0 0.3, and 0.2 eraser, and a pencil. Whenever I do my drawings, I like to wear this uh, glove here, just, just so I don't smear it. And uh, first thing I'm gonna do, obviously, is just I'll determine the basic shape. So here's the center of the head right here. Just draw a line like that. And so head is sort of egg shaped, more round. There's a bit of a chin down here and some whiskers. And obviously these ears that come up like this, they're a triangular shape. If you're wondering, this is a coon cat, I believe. And and then we got the eyes here, I mean, like this. I have another video I did recently on drawing a kitten, which is similar but different with its eyes and uh, its overall facial features. And then we got the nose here and a little mouth down like this. So let me zoom in for you. I'm gonna do the eyes first. And I'll zoom in the camera there so you can see a little bit clearer. So I have it already lightly penciled in, but I'm just going to go back over it with a pencil again, just to build up some confidence before I go into with the ink pen. Because it's better just to build up your confidence with a pencil, because you can erase it if you mess up or anything like that. Um, have a sketch on hand, whatever type of cat you're drawing. Just go into google images look for a picture of a cat or whatever and then just it's always good to just print it out or if you don't mind using it or having the image on your phone that's that's okay too but i like to print it out just so i can see it in a larger size not sure if you can see this or not but i will zoom i mean uh sorry i will uh fast forward through most of this if it's, it might be too difficult for you to see my pencil lines there is a slight slight difference in the cat eyes maybe because of, it's facing off a little bit like it's not looking directly at the camera it's looking off to the to the left of the or to the right its right of the camera so it makes the eyes look slightly different shaped which is good unless you want it to look directly at the camera that's fine but obviously this cat is looking off to the side so you want to indicate that so now you're going with a point two it's a very light ink pen and I'm just gonna start to slowly Try not to get my hand in the way. Being that I'm left-handed, sometimes I uh, I block out the camera there. So I'm gonna be going back and forth between each eye. So now I got the shape of this eye, I'm gonna go back, jump into the shape of this eye here. And then I'll go back into the pupil, and then I'll go back to the pupil of this one here as well. So. So now we have some light reflecting on the eye here. I'm going to pencil this in right here. It's like this. I have a bit of light here, right like that. And again, right here. So now I got that penciled in. I'm going to go over with the uh, masking fluid here. Just going to shake it up. And if you have these 
Masking fluid brushes, I'm using the pointed one here. Dotting off these little areas here. There we go. So it's important to let this dry. So go have yourself a coffee or something. We'll take a walk or whatever, but just don't do it until it's dry. Don't do anything else. Just let it sit. So this should be dry now. I've been away for about half an hour. So I'm going to just start to fill this in here. And as I'm filling it in, I'm just going to clean up my lines, lines a bit. And right around the eyes is some really dark, so like with the, the skin and uh, some very, very dark hair, little bits of hair. You can do this, just draw a little dotted line, just, just to sort of as a guide. And just as you're going around, try to round up your eyes a bit, just to clean it up. And the same thing with this eye here. But I'm just going to jump, go do what I should have done in the first place, and I'm just going to do a dotted line around the perimeter, just so I can just sort of follow it and have less doubt about what I'm doing. I'm going to pay very close attention to the uh, direction of the hair on your photograph. Like maybe even just spend a little time just sort of drawing little arrows on it. Or little ink lines. Just so you're more confident in, in knowing what direction the hair goes. So you got these little fine hairs that point off to the sides of the head. But you see like these ones point down and they start to sort of spiral up around the eye and out in that direction. And we got a different shade of hair. So we got this dark area, right? And then we got this light area here. So I'm going to represent that just with, just to just indicate there is a little hair there, but it's a, a, of a lighter color. And then it goes dark again down here again. So now, I should have mentioned this before, I apologize. I'm going to be using the uh, ink wash that I have. I have some water here, and I have my ink wash in a little film canister that I like to use. And I'll use a really, really tiny little brush here. You might have a smaller one, actually. Maybe this is fine for now. Just a little brush. And I'm intentionally using a slightly dirty water. Because I want to wet the area here, but at the same time, I want to just have a slight shade to it.
You can use actually watercolor wash too for this. Doesn't make a huge difference. It's just I have the ink and I use that as the wash, but you can use watercolor. Being that it's watercolor paper, that will be just as fine. So up here we got a bit of a dark area. And then we got a bit of a dark area down here. Same thing over here. This one eye is a bit darker than the other. There's a bit of a dark area right here. So like that, I think. I'm just gonna let that dry again. So I'm just going to go in and darken it up a bit more around the uh, inner of the eye, around the perimeter. Just sort of like this. Add a little bit of water here. Again, let that dry a bit longer. Oops, almost, dry, almost spilled my water there. Let that dry a bit. Okay, it's, it's pretty dry. I'm going to remove this uh, masking fluid here. When I do animals, I always do the eyes first because if the eyes aren't perfect. So I'm going to remove my masking fluid with this little uh, exact, uh, knife here. So just flick the corner without damaging the paper and you can just rub it lightly with your finger and it will roll right off. And when you're done, put your knife away, out of the way so you don't. Now I just like to just go over it with an eraser just to erase that line and my pencil lines. So if you don't have masking fluid, you can actually use the uh, the gel pen. Which touch new. I came in a pack. I bought them on Amazon. So I like this one actually. So I mean, if you were to, if you didn't have the masking fluid, you can do this. You know, you can just, you know, for example, right here, there was a little spot I missed. I can put a little dot here like that. And you can use it just to sort of clean it up a bit too. And there was actually some masked out area here as well that I kind of missed. And there was a little bit of, uh, I think there was actually a little bit on right on the uh, cornea of the eye too. So I can just lightly indicate that here as well. There's a bit here. It was sort of faded, so I'm just going to tap it lightly, just so it's not as strong as the uh, other whited out areas. It was kind of faded out on the on the black of the cornea of the eye, and there was a little bit here. All right. So now I'm done. I just go around here and just clean this up a bit. There. That's it.
going to start with the nose here.